guys, Erolf Mora here back again with another video and today we'll be taking a look at the Marvel Legends of Falcon and the Winter Soldier Captain America. This is Build-A-Figure Captain America's flight gear, so let's get into it. So taking a look around the packaging, on the top you get the Captain America logo right there, on the side you get a picture of Cap right there, same thing on the back but with the wings with brief description, so pause if you want to look and read it those, same picture on the side, UPC, scan if you want it, and without further ado... Let's get into it. But before we begin, let's build Captain America's flight gear. So taking a closer look at Captain America here, starting off with the head sculpt, really great likeness to Anthony Mackie. I feel like the eyes are just a little bit far apart, but other than that, they're nice and you can see them through the goggles. They went with a semi-transparent look to the goggles, um, not too transparent where you could see the whole um, eyes and kind of the bridge of the nose, but um, in lighting conditions, you can't see the eyes because they're just too glossy like you can see the my lights right there but looking at the the sculpt you can see he has sculpted hair and the paint is painted cleanly and they kind of went for the separate neck piece right there which adds no articulation just a little side to side movement i'm afraid that might break off in the future if you pull too hard on the head here if you want to do some head swappings but we'll get into that in a little bit uh, but looking at the suit, I really like the suit design. You can see the white here. It's kind of a yellowish white because they painted it over the blue plastic. Uh, but looking at the uh, little wing pack here, you can see it just completes the whole look. And I like how the blue uh, paint on the wing pack carries on and continues with the suit, which is very nice. Uh, a lot of texturing details, a lot of paint details going on. Some are sloppy, but that's expected with Hasbro. And since these come two per case, they had to produce a lot of these figures. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's like some paint mishaps here and there. But looking at it, lots of texturing details. I like the uh, pants design. Very nice. Different textures here and there. And looking at the elbow joints here, no sculpted uh, hinges whatsoever, but you can see it's painted semi-cleanly. And going down here to the boots, you get the boot thrusters, which have some nice detail as well. I like kind of this um, gunmetal silver going on right here. And there are some marbling issues in the hands and the feet, but you can see he has peg holes at the bottom of his feet. And since I already showed his wing pack, Captain America's only accessories is the shield. I wish he came with more hands, but looking at it, it's the newly designed shield, which I like. I just don't like the overall colors, but they did change the straps here to a lighter brown and added some silver details. Comparing it to the quantum suit cap from Avengers Endgame, you can see this one is a little bit smaller compared to the quantum suit. I do like the overall colors on the quantum suit one, more muted more realistic looking and one minor complaint with the shield it does tend to slip in and out easily out of the right hand so if you want you can just put in the left hand just pop off the hand and pop it back in and it won't come out anytime soon so now taking a look at captain america's flight gear the details the articulation and comparing it with other winged figures i mean this looks amazing on the figure it completes the whole look for this new captain america it's like say you have to buy all the figures it would have been nice if they made like a 30 40 dollar deluxe version of this guy with extra hands but nonetheless it looks amazing and the stand too it does tend to pop off at the base pretty easily but for some flight poses it does tend to hold it up pretty well and before I forget, the flight gear also comes with Red Wing, which is made out of soft fabric plastic, has some paint details, which is pretty nice and painted cleanly. You can see there are some details like the rivets down here, which is nice. And how it articulates, it kind of rotates right here at the back and also has the ball joint right here so you can angle it wherever you want. Also, I wish you could attach Red Wing to the slimmer pack here, but 
that's okay. And talking about the slimmer pack, on the winged one, the winged flight pack, you get more range as opposed to the slimmer pack, which hinders it a little bit. And here's just a little quick red wing, red wing comparison. So now taking a closer look at the flight pack here, you can see the paint, it's painted cleanly. It looks like one of those uh, car wrap paints, like those matte car wrap paints that you put. Um, it looks okay. I mean, looking at it up close, it does have some texturing details to it. I don't know if that's just the uh, paint itself, but you can see there are some nice details on the wings here. And you can see it's a little bit transparent in these gray areas, but it still looks nice nonetheless. Okay, now for the flight gear's articulation, it does tend to wobble and rotate at the point where you pegged it at, so it is kind of annoying when you're moving the wings, it does tend to misalign at the back here, but one of the wing here can move down like so, but when you have that down, you can't move the other one down because it is kind of clashing at each other, but you can find a happy medium where you can get them both a little bit down. I just wish it just had a little more range. So you can only wiggle one wing at a time this far and the same with the other side. Now he also has hinges right here, which can hinge forward that far, can hinge back that much, which is nice. These wings have awesome range, even though the max points of articulation for the wings is three points each. But you can see the third point here, you can rotate it down like so, which looks nice. And you could rotate it back that much, which kind of clicks and is a little bit stiffer on my right wing. Uh, that's kind of a QC thing, but um, it does tend to pop off pretty easily like that because it is so tight, unlike the left wing. And just showing you the mechanism inside, you could see the grooves in the flight pack and the little wings here have some bumps, so it does tend to click, but I don't know how long this will last when moving it up and down all the time. And finally, doing some wing comparisons. Here is Falcons from Infinity War. Pretty much the exact same size, but look at this. Here is Vulture's wings. Wow, the size difference, oh my gosh. If Captain America's wings were this big, that would have been nice, but I don't know if it's accurate. If it was a little bit bigger, then yeah, maybe. So taking a look at Captain America's articulation here, starting off with the head, it's on a double ball peg, so it does rotate all the way around like so. It can look up that far. They could have had the chance of adding a, another neck joint to have more further range than that, which is quite disappointing. But still pretty good range. It can look down uh, quite a bit, which is good. He also has the tilty shifty head movement, little head wobble, gives some Captain America sass, and a little shift up and down because of that double ball peg, and a little wobble right there at the neck, base of the neck. Arms do rotate, they move outward that far at 45 degrees, which is disappointing, but that's how the shoulders are sculpted. He also has a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, good range right there. Uh, hands are on hinges, they do rotate, they move up and down like so. Same thing with the other hand here, all the way around, hinge up and down that far. Now the torso here is on a hinge, so it hinges forward that far. Uh, this is with the slimmer uh, flight pack here, so it does hinder it a little bit, but you can push it even further by removing the flight pack. He also has a waist rotation, which uh, rotates all the way around. Legs can move forward that far, so he could sit down that uh, like that. Not that much. Uh, he can also kick back like so. He also has the upper thigh swivel right here. Double jointed knees. Uh, I wish he had a little bit more range, but how the boot is designed, that is that. He has hinges at the feet, which bend down that far, up that much. Great range right there, good for some dynamic poses. Also has the ankle pivot, legs move outward that far, and doing the ankle pivot test. I had trouble with this one, oh my gosh. He is good to go. Okay, now doing some size comparisons. Here is Captain America next to all of the figures in this wave to build Captain America's flag gear. So that's what that looks like. Also, you get one of the Dora Milaje's, the two-pack from Infinity War. Also, some Captain Americas, including Iron Patriot. And finally, you get Teenage Groot, Spider-Man, Ant-Man, and Rescue next to the new Cap. And just comparing the Infinity War Falcon next to the new Captain America here, you can see how evolved the head sculpt got and how evolved the costume got. He went through a lot of costumes. I really wish we got that new 
Falcon costume from the show. I mean, I love that wing design and I like the minimalist look of that. Uh, but you could see here the sculpts, they improved it a lot. It really looks like Anthony Mackie. I thought the Infinity War one looked good, but this one looks better. He has that little smirk to it for the new Captain America. Really great likeness to Anthony Mackie. And if you want, you could also do some head swappings and it looks pretty good. So overall, as a figure, without the Build-A-Figure flight gear, I think this is a really, really good figure. The likeness to Anthony Mackie is there, even though his eyes, I think, is just a little too far apart for me. I mean, having this figure, uh, you can get really dynamic poses, uh, even without the flight uh, pack. Even with the flight pack, you don't really get much range in the arms. You can't really hold the shield normally with the flight pack, but without it and just having the figure right here, you can get really fun dynamic poses. Even though you're paying $20 for this, come on Hasbro, you should have gave us extra hands at least. For the price of $20, I should be expecting even some fists with this figure, but other than that, as a whole piece, I think this is an amazing, beautiful piece. If you could find all the figures, build it yourself, or just buy the individual pieces off of eBay, go ahead, buy that, complete this wing set because it is worth it. It looks amazing. It is a nice uh, centerpiece to your new Avengers or upcoming Avengers movie or whatever they do with this new Captain America. I cannot wait because it looks beautiful. But there are some points where the paint in the arms right here when moving outward are starting to chip, which is quite unfortunate. Uh, there are some range issues with the arms, but you can see how it kind of knocks where the um, shoulder pad is right there. It's just the way, like I said, the shoulders are designed. But hopefully in the future they figure something out. Uh, it would have been nice if he came with some butterfly joints, make it more dynamic for some poses. Uh, I think the sculpt is amazing. They just have to fix their paint job issues or try to add or mold uh, pieces of the white instead of having this painted on the figure because even though it is sort of painted cleanly it is uh, starting to chip off even in the hands uh, they're starting to rub against the handle of the shield and it's showing the silver base uh, gray plastic uh, of the hand here but other than that if you could find this figure go ahead pick them up they come two per case Hopefully Hasbro releases a deluxe version in the future if you can't build all of these. So yeah, that is it guys. Hope you guys like it. Air off Morris. This is a signing out. Peace.